On this video, we are going to be taking you on a detailed walkthrough of the ever-popular Bellroy Hide and Seek wallet. Let's check out some of the latest colors and the difference between the high and low models. Hey, what's up guys? This is Jin from Oribags and on this channel, we are all about coming up with product videos and tips to help you carry better. So, you know the drill. If this is your first time with us, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell button too. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back to our channel. So this is our second video on the Bellroy Hide and Seek wallet. We had the first one done years ago, but now it's time for an update. The Hide and Seek wallet has been our top selling wallet for years. Now, a couple of things have changed since then. All Hide and Seek wallets now have RFID protection. Some of the wallets, the inner part of the wallet, the color has changed as well. Believe it or not, this is actually important to a lot of people. And lastly, the packaging. Now, Bellroy is transitioning their packaging from the envelope style packaging to the box style packaging that I'm holding here. And honestly, I think the box style is nicer. It's more presentable as a gift. If you're new to this wallet, the Bellroy Hide and Seek is a leather bifold wallet. A classic wallet that is anything but traditional. It's classy, stylish, and most of all, highly functional. Now, if you're looking to slim down your wallet, then this is a great place to start. The Hide and Seek wallet comes in two models. The high and this is the low, okay, the low model. And one of the questions that we get a lot at Oribex is, what is the difference between the Bellroy Hide and Seek high and low? Seriously, we get that a lot. Well, the most obvious is in the height difference, of course, right? That's why it's called high and low. The difference in height is only about 10 millimeters. That's the difference. So the Hide and Seek high is 10 millimeters taller than the Hide and Seek low. And the main reason for this height difference is to really ensure that the wallet can fit any international cash size. So each wallet basically is designed accordingly to fit certain currencies. So essentially, you would choose the wallet that fits your local currency. Or if you're a frequent flyer, maybe go for the high so that you have more flexibility and be able to fit all kinds of currencies. Now, in case you're wondering about the colors that I have with me, I've only pulled out four as an example, but let me introduce the colors that I have right here. Ranger Green, this is Caramel, this is Java, and this is Ocean. Now, Ocean is one of the newer color additions introduced by Bellroy. And honestly, I think this could be one of my favorite colors yet from Bellroy. So yeah, I really like the texture and the whole look and feel of the ocean color. All right, let's walk through all the features. Now, I'm gonna be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of both the high and low models so that you are very clear on all the details. Now, we always start with material. The Hide and Seek wallet is made from premium, environmentally certified leather. All the leathers that's used on the wallets are premium hides tanned under gold-rated leather working group environmental protocols, then dyed through so that they age gracefully as you use them over time. This wallet fits anywhere between 5 to 12 cards. And honestly, 12 cards is a pretty decent amount of cards for a wallet these days. Mind you, the whole purpose of migrating to a wallet like this is really to trim down. So if you're used to carrying loads of cards around, be prepared to make some sacrifices. Inside the wallet is very straightforward. You are greeted with four quick access card slots. That's one, two, three, four. Now these are best saved for your most frequently used cards. And this is exactly the same on both the high and the low models. Now I know what you're thinking. Can I squeeze in two cards in each slot? Well, there are no hard and fast rules. I know a lot of people who actually do that, but I think over time, it's gonna stretch out the slots. You know how leather is. Moving along, you have the protected section for cards and business cards. This is this 
slot right here at the top, the highest one over here. Let me just highlight that the product description is generally a guide. The main point is this slot right here, this is where you would store all your other cards. Moving along to the cash section of the wallet. Now this is what the inner lining of this section looks like. And I just want to highlight that the inner lining colour and pattern is different with each wallet colour. So this is what I mean. This is in the colour Caramel. And the inner lining looks like this. It's got a darker, um, it's got a monochromish pattern to it. And over on the Ranger Green colour uh, wallet, Ranger Green wallet, you will find that the inner lining is in a lighter beige colour. Okay. And let me just show you for Java. Java is similar. The inner lining is quite similar to the one in Caramel. And for Ocean, as you can see the inner lining is again different. So I just wanted to point this out because sometimes these things do matter to some people. Now the highlight of this wallet or one of the reasons why it's called the Hide and Seek wallet is because of this section right here. This is called the hidden coin pouch and flat bill section. You see there's a flap here. Okay, I'm just going to lift it up. There's a flap here and this is where you have a hidden section. And this is actually a great spot to store extra cash, extra papers. If you are someone who needs to keep receipts, this would be a great place to keep them. Or if you are travelling, you could store some additional currencies here. There is also a hidden coin pouch here, just where I'm pointing, because you just never know, right, when you might still need coins. And assuming that you are not a coins person, you can even use this place to store your air tags. So if you have an air tag, you can just drop it in this pouch right here and close the flap. Now at the moment, Bellroy has yet to come up with a wallet that comes with an AirTag slot. So I guess this will have to do and we'll just wait patiently and see. Now there's one more slot in the wallet which Bellroy leaves out from their product description. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's this slot right here. I've got a card in here just to give you a better look. This pocket over here, it's exactly the size of a business card or a credit card. So I guess you can actually use this place to add in more cards. Alright, let's show you how this wallet would look like fully loaded. And that's all you need to know about the Bellroy Hide and Seek High versus Low. Now let me know in the comments below if you found this video useful. Now if you'd like to get your hands on this wallet or other Bellroy products, you can check them out at oribags.com and if you're in Malaysia, come and visit our retail store. Lastly, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye!